Welcome back to the Dover Bridge project. As we approach the end of June, you can see that everything is screened up and the construction of the project is moving forward. The new embankment emanating from the Caroline County side is well underway. The visible drainage blanket sits atop a separation geotextile and has approximately 8,000 wick drains drilled down into the marsh muck beneath it. On June 12th, this embankment entered into its first 150-day quarantine period, during which the marsh muck converts into a peat base as the water is wicked out. This peat base is more structurally sound. In November, a two-layer system of high-strength woven geotextile topped with select burrow will be placed on the embankment, and it will enter another 150-day quarantine period. Now we're approaching piers 8, 7, 6, the larger number 5, and pier 4 with the visible concrete. There is plenty of activity in the Chop Tank River with cranes working on both sides of the channel. And as we approach the Talbot County side, we get to see the construction of Pier 1 is well underway. Looking from the side, here's a better shot of Pier 1 under construction. And the topsoil being stripped for construction of the sediment trap and the future stormwater management pond. Looking from the side view puts the piers in better perspective. There's 8, 7, 6, pier number 5. And of course, the concrete pier number four that we talked about earlier, the first one on the land. Let's get a little bit closer look at it. There's eight, seven, pier six. Here comes pier number five. Oops, crane's right there. And then we have Pier 4 in the center of the screen. Next is a comparative view uh, showing you the progress of the project. June 24th is on the left, April 29th is on the right. You can see the greening of the uh, environment and the additional construction. You can see the work the Omega Trestle Tram is providing, moving equipment back and forth and giving the cranes easy access to all the uh, construction site along the way.